Hey, I hope everybody's doing well today. Just want to do a little uh, review, I guess you would say, of the pits. From everything that I've been seeing online and, and the people that I hang out with on Fallout 76, we think it's exactly that, the pits. I'm not really sure what's going on with the servers. Uh, maybe it's just they're having issues today, but it seems like since the pits have started, we've been having a lot of issues with servers. Earlier, I completed all my dailies, got the fuel, which you can only do once a day. And as I was traveling to the pits, it, the game crashed and I lost my fuel and the opportunity to start the event, which was kind of upsetting. One of the things I don't understand is, so we have public test servers. Granted, it's for PC. We can't do pet test servers on the consoles for whatever reason. But you would think all the people who play on the test servers for PC would be telling Bethesda, hey, this sucks, or this is the issues we're having, or why did y'all do this, and get feedback. That's what the public test servers are all about. But it seems like once they re reach the consoles, there's so many issues and bugs, and, and everybody's surprised, like, oh, well, we, we didn't see this coming. That's what the test server is for. And, and, and everybody that I see who, who are complaining about the pits, or is it just console people? Because why aren't the PC people complaining about the pits when they were able to play it before it was ever released? I don't understand. And the whole thing with, with the, the new scoreboard, it seems like with each scoreboard that's going past, they're getting worse with the rewards. I don't want power armor skins. I don't run power armor. If you're going to give a power armor reward, have an option of, okay, here's a cosmetic reward for, for an outfit. Pick, pick or choose. I think there should be more Fallout First rewards on a school board, considering when we first got Fallout, uh, Fallout First, they promised us, oh, you're going to get uh, uh, so much more stuff on top of regular rewards because you're a Fallout First member. That hasn't come to pass. So by us paying extra money a month to play this game, which has so many problems, issues, and bugs, reward the people who are supporting you. I mean, is, is, am, am I just being stupid? I mean, I don't understand. Help me understand. There's so many issues with building. I mean, we can go on about the atomic shop items, and, you know, I don't mind buying stuff. I truly don't. I mean, that's why I play Fallout first, because of the stash box. To me, it's worth it. But... You know, I know it's a marketing thing, but the game shouldn't have that issue anyway, because if I can store everything in a stash box or a scrap box, I should be able to store everything, everything in, in a stash box. It's not affecting the server either way. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the way programming works, but that's that's not, not the issue. The issue is this game is nothing but microtransactions now. I've been playing this game since the very beginning, from since day one. I actually had the pre-release of the Bicentennial, whatever it is they called it. I got the Uncle Sam hat and the Vault Boy, I don't know, USA stuff, which was cool. I mean, I get it, but I paid extra to get that. And then later down the line, they released all those items to anybody that wanted it. What's the point of having rare rewards if you're going to turn around and release everything? But yet, on the last, well, the scoreboard before last, I got tired of playing Fallout because, because of some of the issues we had, so I, I stopped the scoreboard, and I missed out on the stained glass windows and the Mothman bundle. I contacted Bethesda. The, the first person I spoke to said, oh yeah, no problem, for 1,200 caps you can have um, that bundle. So, okay, I have 1,200 caps in, in my, my account, go ahead and send me the bundle. A couple days later, I get one. Oh, sorry, we can't do that because that was a scoreboard reward. Okay, but you've already told me for 1,200 caps I could buy this bundle. So then we went round and round. And I talked to like five different uh, case people, and, and finally they said, no, sorry, we can't do that. But you can because y'all did it with the uh, what was it, the, gla the glass walls. Everybody was complaining about they didn't get on the scoreboard. They turned around and released it. So just release this stuff. I mean, you have you have rewards on the scoreboard that says rare. They aren't rare because everybody who does the scoreboard gets them. Therefore, they're not <laughs> rare rewards. If you truly want a rare reward, put new plans on there, make it a pool, and 
when you accomplish that, there there's a chance you get whatever plan. Just like daily ops. Why are we still doing daily ops and getting the same stuff over and over and over? Introduce new stuff. You know, the, the pits was supposed to be uh, a way for us to get off the map, explore new places, and, and experience something different. It's a daily ops, man. All y'all did was reskinned it and made it a non-timed event. That's all this is. We're not going anywhere new. We're not going off the map. We're going into a, a new skinned location, and it's a daily ops. If you want us to go off the map, create a whole nother map per se, and let us explore. Let us find stuff. Give us new rewards. Give us new plans. I mean, this is the beginning of the end of Fallout 76. Sad to say because I've made some really good friends and I've made some really close friends while playing Fallout 76. The community in general is amazing. Uh, regardless whether you're a trapper, a camp builder, or just a Fallout fan. Um, you know, it's, it's become a wasteland sims in a way which I'm okay with that because I love building camps but I also love playing the game and doing events but when the events are the same events over and over and over it becomes monotonous I understand you know you have to update the game every so often but when you do update the game actually update the game giving us a new daily op and saying hey we have a new world for you to go experience no it's not I I, I don't know. I, you know, someone has to be sitting at a desk going, "Ooh, this is awesome. The people are going to love it." No, they, they don't. And again, we go back to the public test server. If truly people are are, are upset, or may, maybe I'm just a minority. Um, why why is anyone complaining? Or maybe they are complaining a bit, but that's just not listening. Maybe that's the problem. But that's don't care. All they're worried about is the money, and you know that's their right. But the game is going to die. This is pretty much the final nail in the coffin for Fallout 76. Sad to say, but I'll still be there. I'll still be playing until the game finally just loses interest and no one else plays anymore. All I can say, man, is, is reward the people who are helping you out and paying you. It's that simple. Uh, I mean... If, if you start calculating, the, maybe that's what I do. Maybe if, if, if we start looking how many people play the game and do a percentage of how many people have Fallout first, start tallying up that money and we figure out how much money they're actually making in a month versus what they are giving us. That'd be pretty interesting to see. Maybe I'll do that on the next video. Other than that, man, all I can really say is, come on, man. Y'all need to get y'all's act together. Um, the game is spiraling out of control and there's no hope or no, there's no silver lining of this. There, there's no, um, there's no glimmer of hope that something is going to change because it's getting really bad. Uh, Fallout first is not what it used to be or what it was promised to be. And everybody overlooked it. Yeah. We get a, a, a fast travel camp and, unlimited budget in our, our scrap box okay and you know give us give us some rare rare apparel give us some stuff that we can use I mean and stop with all the damn power armor stuff man I mean for, for all you people who run power armor hey god bless you I'm, I'm glad you do but for majority of the people who don't use power armor this is stuff you're giving us as a reward that we'll never use it, it's, it's not right. I mean, whoever's sitting back behind in, in the, the the big office chair going, yeah, yeah, this is what we need to do. They need to be fired. This this is this is wrong. Uh, you know, I, I tell you what, let, let's do this. If this video gets 500 likes, I will travel to Austin to Bethesda Studios and attempt to interview somebody and ask them what the hell is going on. Might not make it in, but I will take that trip and and hopefully get some answers because where we're going right now, it's not good. The pits is actually that, it's the pits. So, take a deep breath, enjoy what we got while we have it because the way the servers are going, we ain't gonna have it very long. So with that man, if, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. 
It don't cost you anything. You don't have to ring the bell. You won't get notifications. Just give me a subscription and, and let me know you support the channel. Um, I mean, I would love it if you ring that bell, but it's, it's real simple. Click and like. That's all you got to do. It's free. So while we can, let's enjoy the game, and I'll see y'all out in the wasteland.